universalism is not a biblical concept. Universalism is the idea that everybody's going to be saved. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you've become. When Jesus went to the cross, he paid the price for us all. And I'd suggest that that is very true, but universalism says there's nothing involved with our accepting his sacrifice. There's nothing involved with us surrendering lordship to him. And as we go on in Matthew, we could read, about two servants at the end of the chapter. One is considered a good servant, the other an unwise servant. And it's all in what it, that servant does with what they've been given. So in the same way that each one of us have been given an opportunity to accept Christ, it's not the opportunity that is enough. There needs to be a personal confession and recognition of Jesus in our lives as Savior and Lord. Can anybody say amen to that? There are two men in the field, Jesus goes on to say. They may have been fathers. They may have been a father and a son. Uh, they might have been brothers. They might have been lifetime friends. Who knows? But what the Bible says is that they will be separated at the coming of Christ. Why? Because one has through grace placed their faith in Jesus Christ for salvation, and the other one has rejected Christ even to the end of time. This division will not be temporary, but it will be permanent, and it will be eternal. And when does this separation happen. It happens when Jesus returns at a time unknown to both men. And while one is spiritually alive and prepared, the other is spiritually dead and bankrupt. Christ's coming is what brings that final division just as he promised. There's no time for parting words or change of mind when the Lord appears. There's no second chance, just like the ark. The Bible tells us that God himself shut the door on the ark. And you are either on board or you are lost. And so there's something about that. And people are not saved because of the fact that they hang out with somebody who believes. Let's make sure that we catch that. There's no one that is saved simply by being close to someone else who is saved. You're not saved because your husband or wife has given their life to Christ. Each one of us needs to make a personal decision. The concept of being almost persuaded or just about there is not enough. We say that close counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. But I want you to know that it doesn't count when it comes to salvation. Because when it comes to salvation, it's what's inside that counts. 